Hello, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with DRC Enterprises of Central Florida Incorporated, and Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters, and Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, located here in East Central Florida on the beautiful Mosquito Lagoon, just east of Orlando and Disney. And today I'm going to show you how to pay an invoice that you receive from PayPal. Uh, for my particular line of work, um, I use PayPal for all of my credit card transactions. I trust them. I trust their security. I've been doing business with them for a very long time. I have no issues whatsoever with them. And I'm confident in the way I use them. And I feel good for my clients to use them. And I think most people will say that. That's just my personal belief. So basically what's going to happen is you, the client, when you receive an invoice from particular myself, it will come from PayPal and this is what it will look like. It will be sent to the email address that you have provided. Uh, as long as your firewalls or, or let it through and all that, there are times it might go to your junk folder because your firewall might say, hey, PayPal, spam, this and that. You'll have to check that kind of thing. That's on a case-by-case -case, uh, issue, so deal with that as it comes. You'll receive the email, and this is what it will look like. It will say you received an invoice, um, who it's from, the amount, and so on and so forth. It'll give you the choice to pay the invoice, which is what you want. Now, obviously, you cannot pay it from your email, so what you'll do, you'll click on the pay the invoice. It will take you to a secured website, uh, again, which I trust explicitly. I've never to this day had any issues with PayPal whatsoever. When you get it, you're going to review your invoice. You're going to look at it, read over all the details, It'll say who it's from, who it's to. This is where your email address will be. Uh, there might be the sender, myself. We have ways to set up the invoice. You know, we can put notes in there, what to expect, terms and conditions, note to recipient, uh, the date, when it's due, the due date, the quantity. It's like any other invoice you receive. Uh, once you read all that, you're comfortable with it. You're going to want to pay it. You could print it out, your copy for the receipt. You could save it. That's up to you. So basically just hit pay and this is the step that you want to watch. If you have a PayPal account you can use that. Um, the only thing is if you haven't used your PayPal account on a regular basis, PayPal is very security conscious. If it's been months since you've used it you try to use your PayPal account, they may make you use and verify all your information again. That's, that's up to them. I don't know how they do that case by case basis. Um, I always tell my clients and I highly suggest just to pay with a debit or credit card uh, this option right here just for the fact that it's you know it's quick it's easy it goes through immediately um, as long as your cards good not outdated not expired and the funds are available Visa MasterCard Discovery American Express they take it all you can see it's like paying anything else with a credit card you put your number in the expiration date the little code on the back all your information. Same thing as paying your cable bill, water bill, you know, phone bill, buying something at JCPenney, Bass Pro Shops, grocery store, whatever. We've all used credit cards to pay this. You put that in, you hit review and continue, and you are done. It is that simple and that quick. Um, anytime somebody says, oh, I don't have a PayPal account, like I said, you do not need to have a PayPal account to use this feature, and I love it. Until then, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh. I want everybody to have a great day. Thank you.